Today I got a question for you. Why should you be grinding your own ground beef? In this video, I'm gonna cover seven reasons why I like to grind my own ground beef, and it might help you decide if you wanna grind your own beef as well. Now, one thing I would like to point out, there's a lot of great markets and stores out there, and if you don't have the equipment or don't have the inclination to do it on your own, you can pretty much always go right up to your butcher. They will usually accommodate you. Ground beef, you see, is super versatile. It can be used in so many amazing dishes. And ground brisket beef, is a little extra beefy. I guarantee you, once you do your own brisket grind, you won't go back. The very best crispy tacos, the very best lasagna, the very best chile rellenos. You can make sausage, you can make meatballs, picadillo con papas, and a whole bunch of other great dishes that I can't even think of right now. I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I grind my brisket meat, but before I do, I wanna cover the seven steps that I think are important and they will help you decide if you wanna grind your own beef. And reason number one is, you're gonna know exactly what you have in your ground beef. There's no scraps, no fillers, no additives, no anything. It's just pure, delicious, beefy ground beef. Reason number two is, you get to control the fat content. Some folks like it lean, some like it extra lean, some like it extra fatty, I like it somewhere in between. Reason number three, you know exactly what grade of beef you're grinding, whether it's select, choice, or prime, even Wagyu, but man, Wagyu's expensive. I don't think I would grind a big old Wagyu brisket. I really don't. A good prime like this, this is a prime, folks. This makes amazing ground beef. So that all just means you're getting pure, good quality meat. Reason number four, in the long run, it will save you money even with the expense and the cost of the grinder thrown in the mix. Number five, another great benefit of grinding your own beef is that you get to choose the grind size, whether it's fine, medium, or coarse. I usually like medium for mostly everything. My mom likes fine, so I will usually double grind and put fine last when she wants ground beef. And for chili meat, I like coarse. And number six, you can grind as much meat as you want and you can vacuum pack it in one pound, half pound, two pound for later use. You can pre-make your hamburger patties and freeze those as well. So if you ever wanna eat hamburgers on the fly, you just pull them out of the freezer for a little while, let them thaw out and you're ready to cook. Another cool thing you can do is that you can incorporate other meat to create any other kind of flavor profile that you like. I've done it with pork and I've done it with venison. It makes an amazing grind. Those are just seven of the reasons I like to grind my own brisket. Let's start grinding some brisket. All right, folks, so today we have a 10 pound prime brisket, very well marbled, as you're gonna see. Remember what Arnie Tex always says too, a sharp knife makes the job a lot easier. I like to cut my brisket into thin, long strips that fit inside the throat of the grinder here. I like to follow the grain. And this is just a theory, it's not a scientific fact. As you can see here, this is with the grain. So in my theory, when you drop it into the grinder and it goes in there like that, it is cutting across against the grain. I think it grinds a little bit better that way personally. So I like to cut them in about an inch or so. A good prime brisket is somewhere in the 80-20 range. I pretty much always eyeball it and it's always been, you know, really, really good for me. Folks, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is some serious, serious marbling for a prime brisket. Just incredible, really, really amazing. This brisket is super, super marbled on the point, so I am gonna take out a little bit more fat. If it was a select or a choice brisket that didn't quite have so much marbling, I would leave more fat on the point. The rest of this is going into my freezer right now. We're gonna wait about 30 or 40 minutes and let it get nice and stiff. That will help the meat grind nice and clean. You won't have any of the red juices running anywhere. It'll be just nice, pure, clean ground beef. Now this is an LEM. This is a number eight. It's called the number eight Big Bite. One of the cool things, you have different size plates to grind your meat so you can make a fine, a medium, or a coarse, or vice versa. Me personally, I pretty much always use the quarter inch. I like the size, it's not too fine, it's not too coarse. If I'm gonna do chili meat, then I'm gonna use the bigger 10 millimeter one. All right, it's nice and cold. It's time to get our meat out. Okay, my friends, we have all this meat. This was from a 10 pound brisket. I even had this part in the refrigerator. All right, snaps in place, switches on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I like to put the meat and the fat together 
while that's going on, it kind of helps pre-mix a little bit. This machine will chew stuff up pretty quick. You see how this is kind of stiff? This has a lot of fat here. I'm gonna throw it, throw that in there. This is pretty stiff too. We're gonna throw this in there. If you have a good grinder with good blades in there, you don't have to push anything down. The machine will suck it right up and just keep it going. I have a couple of more pieces here that have quite a bit of fat. I don't think I need any more fat in here. And again, I'm just eyeballing it just from having done this so many times. Some people like to cut these up into cubes. You saw mine, they're nice long strips. If you have a good machine with good sharp blades, you can cut it in strips and it does just fine. They don't have to be in cubes. If you have a smaller machine with not quite as powerful of a motor, then yes, you're probably better off cutting it into smaller cubes. All right, there we go. Okay, we have that 10 pound brisket. We turned it into this beautiful ground beef, but wait, there's more. We're not done yet. I'm going to uh, pack this up a little bit and I'm gonna grind it a second time. That second grind just really makes the meat a little bit finer, but without being too fine, I'm gonna push it down and let the uh, machine do its own magic here. Now in this case, you do need to push the meat down a little bit so it'll get down into the blades. And if you look close here, you can see that the meat looks very different now. All right, my friends, here you have it. Here's a 10 pound brisket all ground up into some beautiful ground beef. I like to vacuum pack either in one pound or two pound bags if I'm gonna keep it for a while. If I know I'm gonna use that ground beef in the next week or two, or even in the next 30 days, it's perfectly fine in a Ziploc bag. You don't have to vacuum pack it. Any more than a month, I definitely wanna put it into a vacuum pack bag. And there you have it, friends. That's how I like to grind my brisket. Usually it's brisket trimming, but every once in a while, like today, I'll take a whole brisket and grind it so that I have plenty of ground beef to use here in my kitchen. Now, if you do a lot of burgers, you can pre-make your burgers and freeze them already made and they just pop them out and start cooking right away. Me personally, I like to leave it in the bags because then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with it at the time that I wanna use it. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get some value out of it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, give it the thumbs up. Make sure you tell your family and your friends about it. If you'd like to purchase my APC Wow Rub, it's at pitmaster.us. The OG is also at pitmaster.us. If you wanna up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. That's it for today. We'll see you at the next video. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from Arnie Tech. Keep the smoke light, make it work. Boom! Wow! Now here's a pro tip to clean your machine out. Uh, bread, just plain old bread. We'll get in there and push all that other meat that stayed in there out of the way. Mm -hmm. If you cook it, you could eat it, right? Be a ground beef bread. Mm-hmm. <laughs>